Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a pen pal letter um, and I'm making it out of my vintage paper packs that I sell on my Etsy store. So if you'd like to go purchase one, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Um, now I'm actually doing a collaboration today. So I'm doing a collaboration today with the paper letter blog, so Vivian. So I'll also leave her channel link in the description box below and also the link to the video that I'm actually going to be creating for her. So basically the collaboration today is that I'm actually sending her a video, um, a tutorial of how to make a pen pal letter, but there's going to be no sound. So she's actually going to be doing my voiceover and she has no idea um, what's in the video. So she's going to record this having no idea what I'm actually creating. So I thought it's going to be very funny to see what commentary she actually makes because I do actually make a few mistakes but I've left the mistakes in the video so she's going to be a little bit confused at some points so I can't wait to see how the video turns out and I'm also going to be doing a voiceover on one of her videos so I'm actually going to have to talk a lot slower my mother's been telling me that I talk very fast and I know that she has an audience that I think a lot of her audience does speak um, two languages so I need to speak very slow in order for you guys to actually understand me because I know I have an accent and I also speak quite fast. So I've been practicing my slow speaking. <laughs> um, so I can't wait to see how this video turns out. And yeah, go check out Vivian's um, video when this video finishes. And also subscribe to her channel because she has amazing content. I love the way she crafts. And she now has a P.O. box, so she also does a lot of P.O. box opening videos. So enjoy the video. Um, I know you'll get a good laugh out of it. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and I'm going to tell you how I made this snail mail package. Just a quick little side note, I'm very afraid my cat is going to make random background sounds. So if you hear anything weird, um, it's not me, okay? <laughs> Um, okay, so we have this cute notebook that I'm actually tearing apart. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> um, we're taking out the pages of the notebook. And we are actually going to use the cover of this notebook to make our fun flip book. Uh, together with some of this vintage paper, which is really, really beautiful. I love <laughs> that music paper. And now we are going to take our pen and trace around the uh, cover of the notebook so that we can measure the paper to fit exactly inside of it. As you can say, see, we're making a lot of pages uh, for a lot of collaging and goodies. Uh, then we're going to take some double-sided tape to actually cover up the inside of the notebook cover. Um, yeah, I totally know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm watching this for the first time, okay? Um, Double-sided tape, you can use it for everything. Oh, wait, we're actually using this double-sided tape to stick in the pages. That is so clever. As you can see, it worked out perfectly and we have so many pages, I cannot wait to see, I mean, cannot wait to show you <laughs> what I'm going to do with this. Okay, I'm actually cringing at how awkward I'm making this. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous to do this video. It's really difficult to talk about something you haven't seen before, but I'm sure that you can, um, just by watching this video, see what Brittany is doing. Um, but it might be a good idea if I talk a little bit about something else while I, of course, also uh, discuss what Brittany is doing in this video just to make it a little bit more interactive and fun to watch. As you can see, we're still working with the double-sided tape here. Um, I actually found I also use a lot of vintage book pages in my crafting. I actually found it so scary to glue down those pages because they're so old and they tear very quickly. So you have to be extremely careful. Oh, you are so clever. So we uh, glued down the edges of the book pages and then we turned that into a little pocket. And now that I'm watching this, I, I start to recognize it a little bit. <laughs> are you making an accordion folder, Brittany? I really hope you are. That would be really, really cool. Um, okay, so 
basically what you do is you glue the you put glue on both the top and the bottom of the page and then you glue two pages together so that you create a little pocket and then you connect all these pockets by yay accordion folder <laughs> and then you connect all of the pockets by um, actually putting a piece of glue in the middle I, I cannot really explain it with words but as you could see uh, Brittany explained it why did you just take that out what is happening oh no are you taking them apart again <laughs> I'm so confused <laughs> So if you want to see a tutorial, I also did an accordion folder, so it's really fun to see uh, Brittany make one. Um, but we are starting again, I really wonder why, and we're using washi type now to do the bottom. You're making it really hard for me to do your voiceover. <laughs> okay, we're using that pretty, also vintage looking washi type to glue down the pockets at the bottom. And we are gone. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> okay, so I think I have time for a little bit of a story. Um, I actually didn't really prepare anything, but looking at this, I do have something that I want to share with you today. And that is about looking at yourself through someone else's eyes. Because that is obviously what I'm doing now. Brittany is creating and I'm being her voiceover, which is really, really difficult. But I... Oh, this is going to sound so poetic, but I actually think that there's quite a life lesson in there as well. Because, um, well, I have anxiety and I have fear of failure and both of those actually cause me to worry a lot. Like I said, I was quite nervous to do this video and um, I worry a lot about whether or not I'm good enough. Oh, we're actually turning it into pockets now instead of the accordion folder. That is also really, really cute. Um, but okay, like I was saying, I worry a lot. Did you just tear that up again? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tear it up. It was so pretty. Um, I'm really confused. I'm trying to do my story here, but you're making it difficult. Okay, I am always insecure. And what I'm learning is this exercise... Uh, which is actually really literally uh, re related to this video, which is looking at yourself through someone else's eyes. Because I always worry that I'm not good enough because I see myself in that way. Wait, we're gonna look at Britney's book now. Oh, that's so pretty. You put all of these tabs in between. I really like this. I really like this. What a good idea. Okay, so I completely lost my train of thought again, but um, 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 I see myself as not good enough and that sounds dramatic, but it's not. It's just what fear of failure does to you. Um, so if I only look at myself through my own eyes, I will always see myself as uh, not good enough, which I've said a dozen times now. But actually looking at myself through someone else's eyes might teach me that mm, the way I see myself is not true. I really hope I'm making sense. Um, but basically, okay, for example, two weeks ago, I, I work at a cat cafe here in the Netherlands. And two weeks ago, we opened. So we're still figuring everything out. We're still, you know, uh, I'm a waitress and luckily I know what I'm doing. But there's still a lot of things we have to uh, learn and stuff. Um, so I know that I can do it. I've been a waitress for quite a while. I actually was a waitress in Sydney as well for six months, uh, which is where Brittany lives, of course, which is quite funny. Um, but I know that I can do it, but there's still that part of my brain, my anxiety, which will always say, you cannot do it. Okay, not dramatic, just that's just how it works. Wow, what a beautiful book. What a beautiful book. I cannot wait to see what you do with that. Mm, but if I look at myself through someone else's eyes, I see that I am actually capable of we're taking this off again or we're not. Hmm. But if I look at myself through someone else's eyes, I realize that I'm actually doing a good job. 
if I look at myself through my boss's eyes, I see a worker, a waitress who's doing her best, who's working hard, who has passion for her job and um, who also, I don't know, I think I'm quite good at it. <laughs> so by looking at myself through her eyes, I actually get a much more positive look. And I think that that is one of the most important things I'm learning now. I really hope this makes sense because I think that this is something that all of us or at least some of us are also struggling with, with seeing ourselves in quite a negative way while someone else might actually see us in a really positive way. So I'm hijacking Brittany's video here uh, while you are watching her craft and create this really pretty snail mail. I also want to give you a little bit of, uh, you know, life experience. And that is that maybe we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves. <laughs> I really hope this makes sense. But looking at myself through someone else's eyes is actually teaching me to see myself in a more positive light. I really hope I'm making sense. <laughs> Okay, so that went from snail mail to life lessons really, really quickly. Uh, but I just wanted to share that with you as it is, in my opinion, quite relevant to this video. Literally looking at yourself through someone else's eyes. I think I've said it enough, enough now. I'm going back to Brittany's video. I really wonder what that white paper is. It looks almost see-through and it's very pretty. Yay, double-sided type! You also use double-sided type a lot. I think when I, I, I watch all of your videos, but I think you usually use a glue stick, right? So now, ooh, that's pretty washy type. Oh, wait, this is going too quickly. We have some dried flowers. And ooh, we're going to make a, a wax seal stamp. Yay. You know how much I love wax seal stamps. We mixed white and orange and I think silver, if I'm correct. And we made a probably very pretty wax seal. Whoa, that looks so um, trippy. Like, I don't know, but it's pretty. I really like how you're mixing all sorts of materials here from washi types to vintage paper and the right flowers. And I think, oh, no, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> And we created all of these fun pockets with goodies inside. And now we're also collaging on another one of these pockets. And we are going to make something pretty. <laughs> I'm really making a lot of sense, aren't I? Is that an envelope? It looks a little bit like an envelope. Oh, yes, it's an envelope. And I love that washi type with the gray stripes. I quite like this because I don't know if I told you this before, but Brittany was actually, um, I think the first YouTuber I watched making pretty snail mails and he hugely inspired me to make all of these amazing snail mail packages. And I also started making uh, videos on YouTube, again, inspired by yours because they're so fun to watch and I really like all of your ideas. And I also really, really love the people, um, well, the community around this, because I saw in your comments as well as in mine that everyone is so positive and that's just, I don't know, that's just really fun to watch and read and be a part of. So it is a little bit extra special for me to now do your voiceover as um, you are what started my hobby slash obsession with snail mail in the first place and i also wanted to say thank you Brittany, for inspiring me as well as so many others uh, to make pretty packages and to um, be active in something offline again this fun hobby and um yeah for sharing all your positivity Oh, by the way, don't forget to also check out my video if you want to hear what Brittany has been up to. I really hope, <laughs> I think it's going to be uh, quite as chaotic as my voiceover because I also made a couple mistakes, but I think it should be fun. 
I think this is a really fun challenge. <laughs> you know, Brittany messaged me a little while ago and she started this story about how she was w watching videos of my boyfriend does my makeup and I was so confused at first but then she su she suggested we do each other's voiceovers and I actually really really like that so thank you Brittany for um <laughs> this fun idea I really hope you guys enjoy it as well let us know in the comments down below if this is something you would like us to do more often and this is the finished result I think really really pretty I love all of the pockets all the vintage goodies a pretty book page you know I love that botanical drawing on the first page that's absolutely gorgeous and as you can see that is the first tab with some washi tape samples and some of those vintage stamps that I know you got in a thrift store or you call it an op shop in Australia right I learned from your videos <laughs> and then again a cute uh, collage and another pocket with some pretty vintage uh, pictures and I think it says oh I cannot read it airmail something airmail something <laughs> and uh, no, I'm sorry another uh, pocket and your letter absolutely love that envelope obviously the letter is going in there and then at the end a pretty postcard and we're going to once more show you this very pretty package. I want to thank you for listening to my rambling. I hope it wasn't too much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.